What's going on everybody? Today we're gonna to talk about the five things you didn't know about San Antonio, Texas. What's going on everybody? This is Brad Burns, team lead of Burns International Group here at Keller Williams Realty in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, on this channel, we just keep it real about San Antonio. We let you know what it's like to live here, play here, enjoy life here for you and your family. Every day we get calls from people just like you who are looking to move to San Antonio and the surrounding areas. Don't hesitate to give us a call, shoot us a message, shoot us an email. We definitely would love to help you get relocated here to San Antonio. We're talking about the five things you didn't know about San Antonio, Texas. San Antonio has the third largest zoo in the United States. We have a variety of animals. Uh, it's a large place to come check out. There's a park across the street called Brackenridge Park. You can take a train ride through the park. Definitely recommend you coming and checking out the San Antonio Zoo. We just had a bunch of remodeling done, a bunch of upgrades and things like that. Definitely recommend you come check out San Antonio Zoo. The second thing you didn't know about San Antonio, Texas, the Alamo is the most visited place in Texas. For you, those that don't know, the Alamo was a historic battleground and our downtown has kind of formed around it. So right in the middle of downtown, we have one of the oldest missions where there was a battle fought for Texas's independence. Come check out the museums and everything else around there. One quick fun fact about the Alamo is when San Antonio, anybody builds a building in downtown San Antonio, it cannot cast a shadow on the Alamo. So any building around it, no matter what time of year, where the sun falls, it can't cast a shadow on the Alamo. Quick little fun fact. Thing number three, Fiesta San Antonio. If you don't know about Fiesta, you are missing out. Fiesta is a 10 day event here in San Antonio celebrating Texas's independence. There's all kinds of things from parades. We actually have a few different parades. We have the river parade that goes down the river walk. We have the Battle of Flowers Parade, which the city shuts down on a Friday for this parade. It's a city holiday. Schools are closed. Banks are closed. Everything is closed during this holiday. Everybody goes downtown and watches the parade. Then we have the Night Parade, which is called the Fiesta Flambeau Parade. That's where it comes out all different lights, fun, games. Uh, there's carnivals. There's all kinds of different Mexican food, all kinds of events going on during those 10 days. It's really just a 10 day of partying. So if you wanna to move to San Antonio, Texas and party for 10 days, use that as your vacation and you're gonna enjoy it. Number four, San Antonio is home to the largest Mexican market outside of Mexico. Um, it's called the Market Square here in San Antonio. There's all kinds of food, shops, games, all kinds of things where you can go and just enjoy a day and feel like you're in Mexico, but still be here in San Antonio. Thing number five, San Antonio is the most visited city in Texas with great things to do like SeaWorld, Six Flags, the Alamo, the Riverwalk, Market Square. There's all kinds of conventions always going on. People come into town for Spurs games, uh, UTSA football games, all kinds of things that you're able to do here in San Antonio that you might not have known about. If you like our video, subscribe now. Hit the little bell so you can get notified when the next videos are dropping. Give us a call, shoot us a message. We would love to help you on your transition to San Antonio.